Good morning, Wednesday, October 27th, 2022. We're in an attic doing another quick inspection of a potential leak. We'll go through and honestly, the point of this video is really nothing with what we're looking for, but some other things that are concerning. We're going to talk about attic ventilation, moisture in your attic, uh, lack of edge metal apron, things of that nature. So first off, there was a bathroom remodel in this area right here on the exterior wall. This is a two-story. There was a little cubby for a shower where you could put your soap and things. And there was some mold in there. The contractor said, hey, get this checked out. So that's what we're here doing. This attic area and the second floor exterior wall come out over a higher, uh, I'm sorry, a lower roof section. So they're exposed to the cold weather. So knowing that and looking up above, there wasn't any mold. I don't think it's a roof issue, probably a shower surround issue, or potentially the cold due to the lack of insulation with a cubby putting into the wall, condensating, causing the mold. The remodel job is done. We're here looking at it now. So we're going to look outside. The siding was in pretty good shape. Not an issue there. I don't see anything coming in here. I don't see any leaking on the decking, although there's something I want to point out there in a minute. Right here is a can light and that little cubby cutout would have been right down here. I don't see any water staining coming down the wood or this foam outside. So I'm really leaning towards the fact that it was a shower surround issue in combination with the cold exterior, uh, the winters, cool inside or vice versa, the hot outside, the cool inside from the AC and causing condensation right around that area, causing the mold on the insulation. But you gotta ask why, actually, Back up, something I wanted to show you I noticed up here. Look at that, water droplets on just about every nail up here. This is what's kind of concerning and why I wanted to shoot the video. It's every single nail. So as I said, it's October 27th. Uh, it's cold outside. It was freezing this morning, 31, 32 degrees. Inside here, it's warmer in the attic than it is outside currently. And the cold roof, you got those cold nails coming down. You got warm moisture, warmer moist air inside the attic and it hits that and it condensates and gathers the moisture. Just like a little pin drop of water dripping down everywhere on all these nails. And it's on these over here. It's everywhere I've looked so far. So you gotta ask, why is the moisture up here? Why is the air not venting out? So let's look at the ventilation inlet outlet. Let's also look for little uh, sources of what could be pumping moisture in here and warmth. So first off, right along this edge here, there's no ridge vent. There's no box vents. Oh, we do have a little bit of ridge vent there, but you're talking uh, two, three, four, five six six feet in from the outer edge that's a bit far and extreme it should start way over here uh, i don't see any others and talk about the cutting the opening on the ridge vent it's not very open it's you're talking inch and a half not much at all so that's really kind of bad quality uh, we're going to look at inlets there are a couple baffles back there i haven't made it over there I don't know how tight that stuff actually is pushed up if it's fallen over into the top seal plate blocking it. But you can also see there's a little bit of moldy mildew on the deck surface over there of that OSB. Uh, so that's a little concerning. You want to make sure you have an air inlet for the hot air to rise out. So if you have the hot air wants to rise and go out, you're going to pull a negative pressure vacuum unless you have an area for cold air to come in. So to make sure your baffles and inlets are good. On this side though, however, let me kill the light. Look at this. That's not good. When you are missing apron on your bottom edge and you have light shining through like that, that's not good. There's also a uh, mud dauber, not mud dauber, wasp nest down there now. You also have a little bit of uh, water wicking back up under the bottom edge. And uh, we're in a county that ironically does not require any um, ice and water on the bottom edge. But that's also just completely missing any kind of apron whatsoever. It should block it. It should not allow or have allow critters to fly in like that, little bugs and things. I don't know why that's dropped down like that there either. Because <sighs> there's part of a living space under there. It's not a four foot overhang. Um, the moisture on top of the ventilation inlet and outlet. I happen to stumble across this uh, shower fan right here. 
So I don't know where it's going, but it's warm. Anytime you have that cold uh, air outside the attic up here, and you got hot air in the attic, and just kind of radiating through this or turned on, you're dumping all that warm air up here. And the warmer the air is, the more room it has for moisture. So when you dump moist air into a cold area, it's going to condensate. I don't know. I can't speak for certain because that could go out under the soffit down over here. Oh, yep. It looks like it might right there. Right there. Now, here's the thing. Is it just dumping into the soffit? Or is there an actually a vent there to, ex uh, to exhaust out through the roof? You don't want to rely on it just dumping out near the soffit because it's just going to condensate and evaporate up in this area and do the same thing as if it was right here. Typically, if it's done real bad, you can see more of a molding area up on the roof where it gathers the moisture. But nevertheless, that's not good. When I go outside, I'll verify and see if there is a uh, vent dumping out down there. All in all, that's a easy attic to get into. Um, something else I just noticed. Where are the H-clips in this? Let me back out here. I don't see any H-clips. When this was built, it's a newer... Uh, I guess I don't know the exact age of the home, but... They're using OSB, and that's a newer building product that has required H-clips since. It doesn't matter if you use H, uh, OSB or plywood. You really need H-clips. Not so much to uh, connect the two from warping, but you need an expansion slot. So as they gather moisture, they expand, they don't buckle. And I don't see them anywhere. Some counties require it regardless, but really it's a good practice to have them. Because if not, I bet that one right there is buckling due to the expansion. Let's go look at it. Yeah, it's it's pretty tight. And you can see there's still water gathering on every one of these up here. So you got moisture coming in here from something. I just try to peek around here real quick, see if I see anything else alarming. It's ridge vents open up a little bit more there. But again, still, you need an inlet. And, well, I guess there's an inlet over here. And there's another big gaping hole. It's really worth having the edge metal and apron on your roofs. Otherwise, you really risk this. I could see right out there. You can see outside right there. All right. <clears throat> um gonna wrap up give it a thumbs up appreciate it hopefully this helps you until next time be safe we'll see you then